Hi, I'm Isabel DeSarcos. I'm from Kings Meadows High School and I'm here today to talk to Lindy from Hope and Me. Let's go and have a chat. So Lindy, what is your role at Hope and Me? So I'm actually the business owner of Hope and Me, so I guess I'm ultimately responsible for everything that is involved with the business. What does a typical day look like? So every day is different in retail, um, it's very unpredictable, but generally it would mean um, re-merchandising the store, um, restocking, reordering, um, and I guess the most important thing is looking after our customers. What is your favourite part of being a store owner? Um, I guess my favourite part is that it's always changing. Um, so that means I have to keep learning um, and I have to keep evolving with the changes. The way people shop has changed so much even over the last two years. So that means that I have to keep on top of that. What are some of the opportunities in the industry that people may not realise? Working in retail can open up doors in different areas. You can become a buyer for a, for a, a store. Um, you can also, when we talk about homeware specifically, you can move into something like styling or interior design as well. What experience and education do you have? Well, I went to Riverside High School and I left in year 10. So most of my experience comes from uh, on the job, I guess, um, and different careers that I've had along the way. Um, so I've slowly moved my way up in uh, different places and I guess my last position um, I was in charge of 11 stores and over 50 staff so that experience really set me up for my own business. What got you interested in retail in the first place? Um, I've always been a people person um, and even when I was 15 I had a casual job in retail and really enjoyed it so all of my roles have been in customer service or retail. Who is suited to something like this? You definitely have to be a people person because you're dealing with different personalities every day. Um, you have to like selling and um, working in a homeware store, it's always nice if you like nice products and be able to help people um, and provide the customers with what they need. I want to get into retail, what pathway should I take? So it's always a good idea to look at some educational options that you would have. So um, a retail course of some kind would be good. Um, customer service is always important. So looking at areas in that. Um, also, if you're looking to go into a retail store similar to ours that does homewares and things, it's always a good idea to maybe look at something in interior styling. Um, so then that can set you up for further careers as well. Um, if you are looking to get into your own business, it's always good to look at business and marketing. That's always really important as well. Um, there's just so many aspects of having your own small business. Um, even accounting is a good one. So there's lots of different career paths that retail can open up. Thank you, Lindy, for giving me an insight into retail. This gives me a better idea of what pathways to explore.